What is up everybody? At the Inform Alliance Kotor here. Thank you for jumping on to my live stream and you're probably catching the YouTube. So I appreciate your viewership, your time, your effort. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple different topics today, um, but most of this is about preparation for the uh, new ship. So I'm gonna talk about that in a sec. Um, I am a player that is part of the Alliance, which is a large group of guilds that work together uh, we're specifically in a cluster of guilds of about 23 guilds, um, very active, very hardcore players. Um, and I am the guild leader of Alliance Kotor. Um, and uh, yeah, um, all of our content is uh, produced on thealliancegaming.com. Uh, there's a bunch of content creators, including uh, Team Money G, um, and Guru Maurice from Operation Metaverse, uh, Roman Azab. Um, is an alliance uh, game changer and so check out all of our content on that website um, there's also me and Stan and Sparrow who make a podcast that is amazing um, I recommend following that um, both of us specialize in uh, more uh, speculation and hopefully teaching because all three of us have been playing the game for a very long time um, so yeah I'm gonna be doing my arena I have payout 15 minutes I'm waiting for uh, that timer to count down and I will be doing a Revan versus Revan mirror match and then another one right after that so um, I am excited because they dropped uh, the announcement with the road ahead which means that uh, we have um, information about what will come out between now and the end of March and so one of the first things that they announced well one of the main things that they announced in the road ahead was um, new ways of bringing characters and ships to the game um, because if you if you have been playing the game for a very long time, last year was all about marquee, legendary, and heroic journeys. And then finally, um, the only other real way that they introduced characters into the game was through um, these guild, guild event tokens or guild event purchases. But other than that, there was no way to get a character. Prior to that, there was a smorgasbord of ways and they were trying new things. But um, I think the Emperor's Shuttle is the uh, first announced um, character um, for in a long time that will solely just be farmed and uh, the way that it it's farmed is going to be interesting too so we're we're going to talk about that um, talk about the math behind that that we've done a lot of number crunching and we made a plan that we can communicate to everybody so hopefully this video helps you out with that and then after that plan is explained I'm going to jump into Darth Revan speculation HK 47 remake, General Grievous rework, and the Separatist Droid faction rework that's coming or launch that's coming. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting for some people to jump on um, and then do my arenas. Uh, Cozy Auditor has um, been in our arena shard chat. Actually, I think he's one of the creators of it, but um, this guy has the most insane mods I've ever seen on a player um, 164 speed Revan. Um, I think he slowed down his Yoda recently to give him a little bit more damage. No, he sped him up. Never mind. 150 speed Yoda that still has a decent amount of uh, damage on him, but he's going for a speed Yoda, which changes the strategy and how you kill it. Um, 146 Bastila. I'm not even joking with this guy. He's. Uh, I don't think any of his characters are below 120. Yeah, 137 Jolie and a General Kenobi that's sitting at like 100. 143 see there you go not a single character below 130 speed um, as you can see all 60 mods 20 speed 20 speed 18 speed 19 speed these are mods that we would dream of so he's been in my arena forever he's uh the whale's whale uh, as you would uh call it luckily he lives on the other side of the planet for me so i only have to go through him or around him um but as you can see uh a little bit more gp than me 4.3 million but this man this guy has everything to the max he slowed down a little bit stopped spending started getting a little bit smarter with his money spending but mods are insane on this guy so he's who i'm gonna fight first and so this is a recommendation on how to kind of go through that if i lose i'm gonna switch and go to booth and then i'm gonna climb to second because today i'm a second place payout so hopefully this is a basic revenue now explanation on mirror matches for revenue my speed is nowhere near his, but at the same time, you can still beat it. It's not just about mods, so I'm going to turn down the sound because blow my internet drop out. So this Revan is faster, and normally I would recommend instantly then targeting the Gyoda, knocking him out, and forcing Jolie to waste her res. Um, in this case, though, Yoda might not be the best option because of his speed, 
but at the same time, I've fought this guy enough that I know I can do it, so. Uh, right. Drew's jumping on through his daughter's TV. Last time he did that, she screamed and yelled, so we'll see. Okay, so Yoda had almost full turn meter, so I didn't actually, like, waste a turn on Yoda, which is something I wished. I, w I was hoping for it. That's bad. That gave Yoda a turn, and I think he's going to outspeed me. And there goes the mark. Doop. So now we're at, we're at an e playing field. I think I'm going to waste mine. That's okay. You can uh, put Retribution up, and Jolie can get his uh, abilities back. All right. Um, let's save that. We're just doing a basic attack, give myself a little bit of turn meter. I should have focused Yoda with that, probably. That was a dumb move. Dumb move. All right, buffs are going. Basil's gonna die probably very soon. All right, here we go. We'll take out the Kenobi. This is gonna res Kenobi, but that actually was the plan all along. We wanted Jolie to burn his res. Because uh, my Revan's coming up on round two um, for his uh, mark. So now we can chew through his defenses and we'll gain advantage. And then we just got to make sure uh, I don't hit Jolie because Jolie lowers cooldowns whenever he uh, counterattacks. But whenever you do call to assist, assists don't count as um, an attack, so they don't get counterattacked, which is kind of cool. Here's Jolie's doing another basic. We need to get rid of that retribution. Here comes Basil to knock it off. All right, he's got one turn left before he starts rezzing again. So I gotta take him out quick. But I think I got this. And we'll give Yoda another turn. No, that's bad. There's the res. Didn't do it right. Alright, we're going to take out Yoda again. That's the delay. I can't beat his speed. I'm stressed. Thanks again, everybody, for jumping on. I'll switch over to the Emperor Explanation. I need to essentially wait for my arena to pay out, so it's eight minutes anyways, to kind of go through the breakdown. Dang it. Alright, let's take him out again. Again. Um, that's a problem. He's back to full health. Oh, uh, like, nope, didn't remove the buffs. Should have checked the mark. That's why they're doing the quality of life update on that. So you can actually see when your target has foresight. Ah, uh, one of them crit. Impressive. That's okay. My resurrection is up. This will get Revan back. His Yoda is coming back very soon, which is a concern of mine. Oh, there's Yoda back. And this is why it times me out, because I can't beat his speed. Um, I could be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I need to get... Uh, we're fine. Um... Let's see, let's see. I could kill any one of these. I think I'm going to properly kill Revan this time. And then switch to Yoda. Let's remove that taunt. Mm, no crits. can't crit Jolie, he won't summon. Um, Kenobi to taunt. But I'm gonna time out. Plus I was overthinking it. That's okay. I knew that was gonna happen. I was gonna try it. He's just too fast. Five minutes. Oh no. Maybe I'll cheat and use you uh Kenobi. I mean not Kenobi. Chewy. It's okay. Auto. Can't do auto. I mean, yes, you can. You should do auto. Anyways, I'm not going to face him. I only need second. I just wanted to try him. Guy has 130 speed on everybody. Like, 130 speed. I got 130 speed on, like, two characters. Um, 
Yoda is my recommendation. If Revan has gone, go for Yoda. Burn him quick. Thank you, Pilar. I got the image. Um, if I crit him, he will give taunt to Kenobi, and I don't want to do that. But if I... Well, I get an ability block. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, of course he removed it right away. Um, that. And then that. Probably not the best, but whatevs, whatevs. Jedi I need a Darth Nihilus? No, yeah, I mean, yes. I'm, you're not wrong. And this will buff Yoda. I need some way to chew through all this hullabaloo. His is much stronger than Kosi's, but Kosi's is speed, so it makes sense. I still haven't even burned a res on this. This is not good. That's fine. I don't like that the counterattack doesn't always trigger. Oops. Once again, not paying enough attention to foresights. Oh, that's foresighted. Basic attack. Of course. Uh, before he can mark again. Basilis should remove his buffs, not stun him, because ha ha ha, good luck stunning a Jolie. Steal buffs, buff everybody. I'll read up in a sec, I gotta focus on this fight. Um, that's gonna draw a counterattack, I shouldn't have done that. Focus Yoda. Just, just don't do what I say. All right, that should increase cooldowns to the point, but these counterattacks are going to lower cooldowns. It's probably going to res. I don't I haven't been able to watch. Yep, that's fine. He's marked. Let's do these buffs up again. I'm playing really dumb. Of course, it's right on the live stream that I do that. Uh, switch with Kenobi. No call assist yet. That won't draw a counterattack. That will. That will not. Finish him. Yes. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Go for my Jolie. I will go for your Revan. And now your Kenobi. Running out of time. Can I win? We're going to turn it on auto in a second. I just need to get through the buffs to wear off, and then I can win. Whew. I got another battle to do, but I don't have time. Time's up. I scored fifth today. I need those crystals because of what we're about to talk about. Failed today. That's time. All right, well, I didn't get second. I got six, six, not even fifth. Fail. Okay, now we're talking about what we're talking about. All right, very simple math. From the beginning of the game, any character that has zero stars needs 330 shards. Check them out. I got my mathematician Sleepy Bear on, on, on call right now. 
but I'm very sure I've done this math right. But anyways, uh, 10 to unlock a one star character, 15 to unlock a two star character, and then we go up three, four, five, all the way up to seven star. Um, 330 shards to unlock a character 100%. So we've done that math. It's, it's already done. The Emperor's Shuttle will be available to all players starting Friday night. Double checking that. No, Thursday night, starting Friday morning. Um, in any form, on any energy node, in anything in fleet battles. The math is uh, extremely straightforward. They told us right up front. Uh, if you spend one energy, the drop rate is 4%. So if you spend over here on normal, let's say two, uh, the drop rate here is 40%. For every time I do one sim, because I'm spending 10 energy, 10 times 4%, 40% drop rate. If I spend it way over here in the hard nodes, 20% equals 80%. So we know this math, they've told us. So then the, the, back, uh, the back knowledge is how much energy is needed to get it to X star level. So Sleepy Bear and a couple other guildies, we crunched the numbers and we were figuring out where the right spot is to recommend farms. So the, the perfect spot is starting today you want to end the day at 48 energy and I know I'm at an odd number right now and you want to end today at 48 energy after collecting this reward not before because then as soon as you collect it it ruins your math so I'm above 48 energy I go in I farm this bad boy I'm at 62 this will bring me to 46 close enough uh, over the course of the day from today all the way until tomorrow at this exact moment I will accumulate an additional 120 energy and that is because of the natural accumulation of this energy there is no fleet energy payouts during that time zone or uh, fleet energy rewards so I'll just keep generating that natural energy and I'm not gonna spend um, the reason that we put in a little bit of bonus to go past the 144 that you're seeing right here is because tomorrow I'm going to have my quest and I'm going to need to knock out my quest. So tomorrow when I knock out my quest, I'm going to pick a really low energy node and I'm just going to burn three on it because I need it for my quest. It's not going to burn all my energy. I'm going to do it some point tomorrow early in the morning. I'm going to just go in knock out three. At which point I have guaranteed that myself will hit 144 energy at this moment tomorrow. Um, and then I get the bonus energy right after it and that starts what we call saving so I will be at 144 plus the 45 energy from the, the uh, bonus energy now this is where the math gets intensive and this is where I put it all up on discord and I hope that you read it and check it out uh, the guide is very straightforward so today is the start tomorrow after this time after I collect my bonus energy I'm gonna spend 300 crystal uh, my goal is to get a five, maybe six star, and we're still debating what I want to go through, but through my crystal tolerance, which I highly recommend looking into, but uh, 300 energy. Now, if you're going for the six or seven star, you might want to spend five or 700 crystal tomorrow, and you do it after your uh, fleet energy payout. So your fleet energy comes back, and then you spend the, the three, five, or 700 crystal. Uh, we're doing that tomorrow it's Wednesday then Thursday you're gonna have more energy than you know what to do with but you're gonna sit on it Thursday you're gonna collect your bonus energy and you're again gonna spend three five or seven hundred crystal on bonus energy this will cap you out um, and it guarantees that you will be at above a thousand literally after a thousand the game says you can't buy any more energy you will not be able to that's good that's what we want so then Friday morning and actually I'm probably just gonna stay up late Friday, Thursday night but Friday morning at midnight uh, the event will open up and all energy spent in this area will generate bonus shards so you're gonna get all this loot already and then just like with the bounty hunter events or just like with the uh, the old Republic events I forget what they were doing there were different events but they were throwing extra characters like Gar Saxon was in there Holdo was in there just bonus shards free thank yous he will the shuttle will show up in all of these events as bonus as part
part of the Emperor's Shuttle uh, hunt. Now the key understanding that's different than the way they did it before is you're guaranteed a drop rate percentage, meaning that I know for sure if I'm spending it over here, I'm going to be getting the 80% uh, drop rate. And that's the key understanding. So then we can math it out saying every single day spend X crystals, get Y energy, Y energy converted on spending on these nodes equals 80% drop rate. We can do the math all the way through to figure out how many uh, refreshes you need to do, how much energy you need to spend to get a five star. Essentially, the basic math that we've figured out is the five star is going to be about 3,000 crystal. Um, there's some wiggle room in there because of RNG. Lucky people who want to risk their luck can go spend way down here. The odds are lower to get a shard, but if you get lucky, you will spend less energy. Or the less risk takers like myself are going to spend the energy up here, probably on a bunch of golden eyeballs and all this other loot that I need. I don't need nests, but whatevs. I could use those apparently. So I'm going to spend it on all these nodes, spending them out, getting them all done, um, capping them out every single day, burning through all my energy every day and all those crystals. Um, so again, it's going to cost about 3,000 crystals for the entire event to be about five star. Uh, with luck variation um, for the six star the math says it's about 9,000 crystals um, it might be as high as 10,000 crystals so we're talking almost a vault here I forget the crystal uh, crystal conversion I don't know I guess it's more like a $50 crate especially if you you're gonna be earning crystals throughout the week so you could straight up get a crate to get a six star and then that means that, yeah, our math was pretty close, Sleepy Bear. It's going to cost a vault 100 bucks to get this character with proper planning and proper spending across, across the days. There was also confirmation online that the event is five days long, not four days long. The wording can be confusing because it's going midnight to midnight, but there was a confirmation. It's guaranteed five days. So that means we're spending Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday um, crystals. You can preload your crystal spending and then guarantee that you won't have to spend as much on Tuesday. But the way the crystal costs increase go up is that actually just kind of mass out to be the same. So there's no reason to do that. So I'm going to post the guide that we typed up in the YouTube comments. So everybody who's missing or catching this online will be able to see it. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the shuttle. All the reasons why. Uh, one, territory war. Two, Sith and Empire ship. Yes, Empire is neutered by um, Millennium Falcon, which directly is built up to go against um, Empire enemies. And then also, I think it does an extra bonus damage. Yeah, more damage. Yeah. But this doesn't. This is just to spell. Nothing extra against. That's his call to Sith is his main ability. Nobody's really stressing about that. He's going to get 100% Terminator anyway. So, anyways, one, Territory Wars. It's another fleet. If we got a bunch of Millennium Falcons, we want a bunch of uh, Kylo, or not Kylo shuttle, Emperor shuttle. Two, everybody's got an Emperor. Everybody's got an Emperor and you're maxed out. So it's going to be instantly jump into one of your more powerful fleets. Three, if it's got any synergy with this bad boy, it's actually going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, he is a tank that has a reactive ability um, and then concussive mines. So a reactive tank from all Sith and he taunts, and then he's got critical avoidance. And then the concussive mind. So he is essentially the Jawa scavenger masked with General Kenobi as a tank. It's just really, really um, interesting interesting uh, synergy. Um, he probably works best with his extra tricks or Chimera, we'll, we'll find out. Um, we do have a bunch of other Sith fighters, Scimitar, and we also have the uh, awesome, awesome, where is he? tie advance so i think that no matter what it's going to work in a fleet so territory wars i think it's going to the third reason i highly recommend it and the, the reason i recommend doing it now is because the crystal investments of this game don't ever stop there's always another event that you're going to need to invest crystals in which is why it's so important to get ranked high in arena and not get sixth place like I did today. No, but if you can get to first place, you'll be generating 900 crystals a day, so you can invest in events like this. Um, I'm not saying you have to get it seven star, 
because even getting it five star then on the next time around you're not having to burn as many crystals to finish it off um, and you're going to need those crystals at that time to farm Darth Raven or to farm XYZ other character so uh, I think I'm done with my spiel but I'm going to check the comments and Sleepy Bear probably yelled at me to remember to remind you to say things so hold on one sec um, alright oh they're talking about her, uh, Darth Raven so um, yay mask, you know, yeah, okay. I don't think Revan will be required for the Darth Revan event, but we will see. Uh, the shuttle's kit will be released on Thursday, I almost guarantee it. We don't know release cadences or schedules or anything like that, but if the event is on Friday, they're going to give us a kit Wednesday, usually, but probably Thursday in this case, so. Um, we don't know the unlock uh, level it might be a three star four star but if it's emperor it sounds like it's probably five star so um sleepy bear is correcting some of my maths uh, math with five days for six stars was 5300 crystal but i did that six so it might be up oh so it might be only 5300 crystal for a five day event Seven stars, yeah, 19,000 crystals. It's a lot. It's a lot of crystal investments. Yeah, I have no intention of, I'm probably gonna go for six star then. I have no intention of going for seven star. I'm not gonna spend $100 on this. I'm not gonna spend $100 probably ever again. Um, I've gotten gifts and then blown them and then realized that all my investments are wasted when you invest a lot of crystal and gear and stuff on things like, I don't know, all this stuff that I, use rarely CLS anyways um, Darth Revan so I have not spent my energy today this is normal for me but I wanted to show kind of like my normal energy spending cadence so uh, sixth place today gets me um, a shitty reward compared to what I'm used to but it gets me 250 crystal um, and then I will end first in fleet as long as I don't talk too long on this so that'll be another 400 crystal plus the natural 100 in the day so that's 750 crystal so this is my normal expenditure of crystal for the day and how I prepare for all events that is 150 and I am currently farming 60 upgrades I bounce between farming mods upgrading mods and upgrading to 60 so that's currently what I'm spending that on that's 150 I am not spending any of these I have all the characters except for oh except for Candorous. I was spending 300 a day on Candorous, but he is now 50 out of 100. And the reason I stopped there is because when the crystal packs come out that you buy crystals for randoms, I don't want any of those to go to the shard stop. And finishing from 50 to 100 doesn't take, you know, I can do that during the event. Uh, I'm also ahead of everything because I'm constantly farming, um, but I pause things like Django, even though I have double Zeta on him. Um, I also paused Embo uh, to focus on things that I know are going to be needed. So I've been farming this every day, and then Bastila, um, and so I burn uh, another 150, so I'm at 300 crystals burned, and then I also burn refreshes, so 325, and then 375 crystal so far spent today. Um, now, I was spending 300 on this, so that's 775, so we'll just math that in. And then I am not spending anything on fleet, because I am, again, ahead of the curve. Now, obviously, for players behind the curve that are just finishing up with Zalbar, the question is, like, C-3PO, Millennium Falcon, Darth Revan chasing, that kind of thing. Those are player decisions, and I cannot make, make the recommendation on a player-by-player -player basis. What I do recommend is finding a way to get ahead of the curve without spending money. Money is obviously the way to get there, but um, so the way to usually get ahead of the curve is get your arenas in order. So if you're just getting Revan and you're finally climbing into the top 10 or top 5 of arena, great, that's in order. Now flip to your fleet arena and get that in order and make sure you're getting up there. And if you don't, because everybody's got a Falcon and you can't beat them, time to farm the Falcon and you don't need C3PO yet. Does that make sense? Um, Darth Revan, we expect to break the meta, but we also expect Kino uh, Grievous to break the meta. And so 
Um, I actually expect Grievous to be like a Night Sister disrupt. His Night Sisters never really, they were not really meta, but they destroyed all the other metas. So I feel like it's going to be a disrupt like that. We will see. So, um, my Darth Revan prep is uh, a bunch of bad Stilla right now. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm churning along. I'm moving along nicely on her, but I'm not there. But I expect probably Thursday to be told that Johanny and Karth are here and here, and you need to farm them too. So uh, remember, I was spending, what was that, uh, 375 plus another 300 on Cantina, so 775. So because I was normally first in both arenas, um, my crystal tolerance is over 900, over 9,000. Um, so I'm still saving, I'm still banking crystals. And then as soon as I finished Candorous, I was like, okay, I'm done, hands off. Um, and that's usually where the players sitting in the first and first in arena can ride these waves, is they're still banking crystals. I'm gonna read some more stuff in Twitch. Gonna get through, um, Sleepy Bear says, math, Revan Farm and Revan Gear killed mine. Oh, Drew, that is a perfect, thank you for that. I appreciate that, hold on. Um, Sleepy Bear says six refreshes a day on energy for uh, the seven star. Okay, uh, Drew said uh, Gearing Revan killed his uh, thing. I never, uh, I wouldn't say never, never say never. I highly do not recommend buying gear with crystals. Um, if you urgently need it, like Revan, to get top arena so that you can win in arena so that you can get crystals then it's an investment but if it's just because you really want to finish off that character i don't recommend it i mean you know we're all sitting on these things that we just desperately need and we really will really want you know gold eyeballs yeah always um so we could always buy this the only time i've ever bought 50 gold eyeballs is for an arena meta breaking character uh and i had zero like, if I was close to anywhere near half like I am now, I'd just farm it up the rest of the way. It takes, like, three or four days. Um, I never spend energy on gear until I am in a weird limbo between characters. Like, I could technically be, instead of saving Crystal, like I was just explaining with Candor, so I could take those 300 that I no longer have to spend on Cantina and transition them into gear farming. Um, but again, I, I play ahead of, the, ahead of the meta, so I'm already at playing a Revan, so I don't need to really gear up anything unless Pariah yells at me and tells me I need to do it for Territory War. Um, Alright, so I talked about the plan for Emperor Shuttle, which I'm gonna post up in the YouTubes and it's also on our Discord. Um, the Discord is always shared in the YouTube, so you can always come on our Discord and check it out. Uh, I covered Revan Mirrors and failed utterly. Don't do what I did. I'm still working on it. I need to speed up. Actually, what I really need to do, and this is what um, I'm thinking about doing on both accounts, is my Grandmaster Yoda is speed built just like Kosi that I demonstrated against. Um, but he's not fast enough. I mean, I could make him faster, but then he's also not enough damage. And so I think I'm dropping more speed to go higher in damage. We will see. I don't know. I have some pretty good offense mods, but I'm, yeah, I don't need a crit damage mod and a potency mod. Like, I need to get rid of that stuff. I'll figure it out. Yoda can do more damage, and then I'll win. Um, good luck on the Emperor's Shuttle. I think this new event is a, a segue for them away from... Uh, they're still going to do Marquees. They're still going to do Legendaries. They're still going to do Hero's Journeys. They're still going to do characters that you buy with exclusive currencies. They're still going to do Raid characters. But I think the Emperor's Shuttle is a foray into, like other ways to make you waste resources into getting something but still feel rewarding for example as i'm farming golden eyeballs i'm not gonna hate them like all this stuff is stuff i can use not this that note maybe i'm not gonna be so happy about i guess dang this one i'll be fine with data pads this one mm, nope i guess i guess i'm just gonna get mad i don't know i think i need these yeah plenty of those okay so i'm gonna get something out of it it's not terrible and the marquee events is just like here's a three-star character spend a bunch of crystal okay here's it on a hard node spend three months farming it so it's gonna be way better than marquee event um and then i think what they're gonna do next and stan and sparrow were talking about this on their podcast is probably gonna see a lot more quests and then like an old school 
uh, Vader unlock where you just everybody slowly pursues all these little little quest things and stuff. I don't know. Thank you for checking me out. I'm gonna take off. Oh, I didn't talk about General Grievous and HK. Uh, I would not gear up, nor would I uh, chase General Grievous shards. I don't think they're gonna change the cost of him. So getting him maxed out is not something I'm doing on my alt account. HKA shards are easy, so I would get them. Um, I would not, like, panic farm any of the droids. Uh, reason breeding is, if they're gonna be meta, they will sell them for crystal packs, and the crystal packs are not usually bad when they're a bundle. Like, all these characters all at the same time. Um, and if he's an arena breaking, it doesn't mean he's gonna break all of the meta. He might break the Revan meta, but Treya and CLS and maybe even Ewoks and some other things are still going to be able to beat up General Grievous. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't chase after those. I am excited for their rework. Pilar has a quick question. Hit it, girl. There's a delay, so it's going to take a second. Go ahead. I'm going to do Fleet Arena while I wait. Ooh, this is the... Super whale for Fleet Arena. I need to turn my heater off. It's hot. While I'm preparing for Emperor Emperor's ship, should I pause on other farms? Heck no. Well, it depends on your crystal tolerance, but heck no. So as you just saw, I just farmed all the all the ones I'm still farming. I, I still would recommend that. Um, but you need you need to save three thousand crystal over the course of the next seven days to get Revan's, uh, I mean, not Revan, Emperor Shuttle, so 3,000 crystals. So if you're getting close to the end of that event and you're running out of crystal, the shuttle is more important than your farms, but try and keep your farms going all along. That's a good question. Oh, we gotta work on your crystals. Pause fleet farms, to yeah. Uh, yeah, any fleet farms that you're doing right now, Lando, like, uh, I, if you're doing regular stuff, I still would continue. I mean, it depends on how many you're doing, too, because, as you saw, I'm only spending 375 crystal a day, so. If you were spending way more than that. This is the, uh, this is the Falcon Breaker right here. Cassian Shuttle. No breach on my team. Bring in Cassian Shuttle. Good night. Oh, I love that thing. That's actually my next two gear. Is the three of those guys. There you go. You, you, you heard it here first. You did not hear it here first, but Cassian Shuttle. You don't even need the Falcon for Cassian Shuttle. It can run on a Geonosian team. It can run, it removes buffs. As you see, his just came in. Killed my, uh, what was that, Biggs? I don't even know what I'm using. Um, I kind of want to stealth myself. Yeah. I stealth myself. Yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting day and age we're in. Road aheads are late, but that's okay. They always bring fun and enjoyment. I think the... The other stuff in the road ahead is some really cool stuff uh, that I'm really excited about. Really? Come on, game. He's gonna kill me. That's a wedge. I don't know why he brought in a wedge. That's okay. Oh, the game brought in the wedge, but you know what I mean. Cracks and knuckles. Alright, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up and cut the stream and get back to my busy life. Pilar and I are going to upload this to the tubes of the U's. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Frame rate drop. World's ending. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do a play by play in Discord for everybody in my guild so they can just follow those instructions. They don't have to check out the live streams. Let's just turn that on auto because that's over. That's what I hate. Watch, he's going to do it again. Oh, he didn't do it again because it died. But he does the shake twice and you fix that bug thanks Sal for jumping on thanks again everybody I love y'all you're the best